Hello everyone, welcome to part 15 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are creating the admin panel. So uh, we are going to update the admin sidebar this time and we are going to highlight the currently open module. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, like uh, if we log in into the admin panel and here we can see that uh, we able to complete two of the modules so far. We able to complete the update admin password and update admin details these two modules we have completed so far and uh, whenever we click on like one of the module like we will click on update admin details then this tab must highlight here okay so if we will click on update admin password then this tab must highlight so uh, it must highlight the current tab that the admin open okay so that thing is pending that we are going to do and also we are going to add here the dashboard link and also uh, we are going to show the admin name here and admin photo as well so photo is already we have added in last video we have seen that we able to update the admin photo here as well okay so only thing is we need to show the photo here as well okay along with the admin name who login into the admin panel because later on we are going to provide the sub admin super admin as well as the vendor feature so for that uh, it is better if we are going to show the image of the person who logged into the admin panel okay so uh, let's start uh, first of all we're going to update the sidebar i'm going to uh, open my project here project 10 in my subline and here i'm going to open the sidebar here okay uh, so I'm going to open here this update details as well so that I can get the image path. Okay, so I am going to open the update details uh, as well. Okay, so here uh, we can simply get the image path that we have set in the last few videos and here uh, we will get the image path so we can use this uh, uh, this condition because if the image is not there then we are going to show the dummy image okay so like uh, uh, this can act as a dummy image okay so i'm going to save this image and will uh, use it as the dummy image okay uh, like uh, i will uh, save it like no image okay uh, i'm going to save it somewhere like uh, i'm going to save in desktop okay so i'm going to save it and will use it uh, no image okay so i'm going to pick this image and will put it in my folder in my project folder project 10 uh, i'm going to update public admin images and anywhere i can put here i can add here no image okay so now see i'm going to add this one i'm going to add this condition here in sidebar uh, where we are having the image here we are having the image okay so i'm going to have this condition here okay so if the image is coming then it's fine otherwise in else condition i'm going to show that uh, dummy image okay that i have just uh, added in the folder so i'm going to give its path here okay i'm going to paste this one and will give its path uh, that is admin images okay admin images and after that images uh, uh, here no image okay directly no image dot png we can simply add this like this no here okay so another one another path uh, we can give this one uh, here you can see the complete path of the image of the admin so that we can give here okay so now uh, we can check here and also we can give here the admin name as well okay we're going to replace this with the admin name here instead of image we will give here the name see this we are just getting from the auth card admin user where we uh, used to have complete admin information from the admins table okay so i'm going to refresh this one and here you can see okay so some issue is here uh, it is showing uh, the uh, path here instead of the image so we need to make sure that uh, it is correctly we uh, we must do correct here uh, sorry sorry uh, not this one this one will not include just this one okay so now it seems to be fine okay now it must work see here Amit Gupta is here and along with the image okay so now if we are going to update with any of the image like this is my photo I am going to update this one click on submit 
and here you can see the image has been updated okay i hope you able to see i'm just uh, uh, make it like this okay so that you can able to see see photo has been updated okay so if uh, we not update any kind of photo then uh, see it will not show any image it will show the dummy image okay like if i will remove this photo uh, from the admin we have not added so far the delete feature that we are going to add in uh, in the upcoming videos uh, like if we have removed the photo okay then it is going to show that dummy photo okay so see this one it has shown the dummy photo because we have not added any kind of photo okay so here the name as well as the admin image is coming fine okay so now we are going to highlight the left sidebar tabs at first tab we are going to add here the dashboard tab okay so we are going to update this sidebar so uh, we are already having this widget so we are going to make this tab as the dashboard i'm going to move this one upward uh, before setting okay so here uh, we are going to paste it here and here i'm going to remove this new here and we'll replace it with the dashboard okay and here i'm going to add the link of the dashboard uh, that is the uh, admin slash dashboard okay so, uh, so now uh, other than this uh, now we're going to check once uh, like uh, see here the admin see dashboard after that settings will come okay in setting update admin password update admin details after that uh, uh, we will have this like uh, uh, for the dynamic admin that will work for all we are working on the dynamic admin that will work for all the website later on uh, we will uh, make it like uh, for e-commerce or some other website but right now this admin can be used for all website so uh, here uh, we will uh, add this pages management for cms pages to manage the cms pages so we can just simply add the pages management or simply add cms pages okay later on we can update it as well just for the reference i am adding cms pages here okay so uh, now see if we will select dashboard see it is not highlighting this okay so to highlight this uh, we need the session here okay so we are going to modify in admin controller see here we are going to use the session now okay to highlight the tabs okay use session so this is the easiest method the best and easiest method to highlight the currently open tabs okay so like this one here we are going to highlight this one like we are going to put in uh, session put uh, we will have the page okay which page we have opened that is the dashboard page okay so uh, this dashboard uh, we have started this uh, page we have assigned the dashboard value to the page session okay so now we are going to compare here that the dashboard session that uh, uh, that the page session is having the dashboard or not if the page session is having the dashboard then we are going to highlight this one and for highlighting this one now link active they uh, the template provide us the active class for highlighting the tabs here you can see it highlighted see headings will highlighted into blue and subheading will highlight into uh, white this is the admin template design admin lte template design so so that uh, we are we need to follow okay so now we need to add here the condition okay so like uh, here uh, here we are going to add the condition before uh, li uh, we can add one condition here like this one uh if session uh we can uh, have like session get page we are using the page session equal to equal to dashboard okay uh, then uh we are going to assign the active class okay so what we are going to do we are going to start the php here dollar active equal to active here we can close the php this is the another way for uh, for working in php okay so now uh, in else condition and and if so here uh, in blade files we can use it like this at the top php okay 
so in uh, otherwise uh, we will make this variable just empty okay we will not uh, assign any value to this variable okay first we are going to try this one so this dollar active we are going to use here instead of this one hey, let's see now i'm going to refresh see we have opened the dashboard and dashboard is highlighted like if i will go to the update admin password uh, then still it is highlighting because the another session we need to start when we will go to the another page still it is having the dashboard session so we need to add like uh, if we will go to the update password then here we need to assign the another value to the page session and that we are going to assign like update password this value okay and if we will go to the update add uh, that update detail then we need to assign the another value here like update details okay so update details update password like this we need to assign the new value to the paid session so that we uh, need to compare here okay like in case of uh, uh, here update admin password we need to highlight this one so here uh, in case of this one i'm going to copy this one here uh, here we are going to like update password if it is update password if page is this one update hyphen uh, update hyphen password then we are going to active uh, this one okay then we are going to use this one like this okay and same thing uh, for here if it is equal to update details then we are going to highlight this tab then we are going to highlight this one okay so uh, see setting we will also highlight but first of all we are going to check here now you can see uh, dashboard is not highlighted because we have moved away from the dashboard if we will go back to dashboard once again then it is going to highlight this one okay so if you will go to the update admin password then it is going to highlight the update admin password if we will go to the update admin details then it is going to highlight the update admin details so we need we uh, able to highlight the currently open tab okay uh, so for setting we need to work here like uh, if the update admin details is highlighted then the settings will get highlighted but if you will click on dashboard then settings will not highlight right now the settings is highlighted as well but that is wrong okay so for that uh, we need to have the uh, here condition here as well before setting okay here as well we need to have the condition like page equal to update password or or if page equal to equal to uh, update details if any of the if uh, update admin password is selected or update admin details means any of the uh, subheading is get selected then only we need to select the uh, that upper heading that is the setting okay otherwise we will not highlight uh, we will not uh, select this one okay so for that uh, for this we will have the or condition and we will all uh, we will select uh, we will add all sub items okay so like we have added update password and update details if any of these two get highlighted then in this case uh, we will have will make it active otherwise inactive okay like this like we have done earlier okay so we are going to work like this okay so this one uh, so dollar active class we are going to make it active as well here so now we are going to check here see if we have selected the dashboard then it will not highlight the setting setting will get only highlight if we will select the update admin password now it highlight the setting if we will uh, select the update admin details then these settings will be highlighted as well but if we will click on dashboard then settings will not get highlighted at all okay so uh, settings will only get highlighted when any of these sub item any of its sub item get highlighted okay so in this way we are going to work on the other uh, items as well other sidebar modules left sidebar modules as well okay we will only highlight whenever we are going to select them so stay tuned for the next video in which we are going to start working on the cms pages that is required for all the website all the dynamic website whether it is uh, dating whether it is e-commerce okay 
uh, education related on any any other website as well but it will work for all the website okay so uh, please stay tuned for that and do join the channel to get this code and always subscribe the channel for more updates okay so that's all for now have a nice day.